early 50s saw a massive increase in immigration, mostly from Europe, and much of it government-assisted. Many of these new Australians started their working lives on the Snowy Mountains hydroelectric scheme, one of the most ambitious engineering and social projects ever undertaken in this country. It was about this time that Boral too began to expand, taking its first exploratory steps into another state, setting up a wholly owned subsidiary, Queensland Oil Refineries Proprietary Limited, to produce bitumen. The company also moved into marketing of LPG, a valuable refinery byproduct. 1956 saw Australia celebrating the Melbourne Olympics and the arrival of television. The years of immediate post-war growth had come to an end and the company entered a new era of acquisition that was to last well into the 1980s. By 1963, bitumen and oil refineries had officially adopted the name Boro and was looking to expand. The gas supply company was a group of 28 gas companies strung down the east coast from Cairns to Portland, Victoria and west to Broken Hill. 